because we are set for football at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens. The excitement brewing here in South Florida as a moment ago. The Dolphins starters were introduced to this home crowd. They're fired up as well as they get set to match up with the Washington Redskins. Set to go now in week six of the NFL season, and we are underway on EA Sports. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Second-year man from ASU, Kalen Balage. He'll have a first down past the 40. He's at the 40, the 20, and all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Kalen Balage, his third touchdown now on the year as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. A good hold in these wet conditions. The point after is up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is taken at his four. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. The Redskins make over their first game team at their own 28-yard line. Here we go! Haskins and the Redskins come up first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Now the second year back from LSU, it's Darius Geis. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Vince Beagle, the one to bring him down. All right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers playing their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now. And that's going to be intercepted by the pro bowler, Xavier Howard. And he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. Defensively that time, they were in zone coverage. As a rookie QB, what lesson can you learn there? Well, understand this. You saw zone in college, and the defensive backs reacted, but they don't react like they do on this level. So when they're in zone and they see the ball coming to them, they'll react at least a half a second fast. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. It's the rookie from Washington, Taylor Rapp, who picked it. And the return here will go to the 31-yard line. The rookie was trying to push it downfield, but the safety bit him. And he'll learn that you have to hold the safety. And you do that with your head movement, your eyes, sometimes your shoulders. Hold the safety so that you can get back to the throw that you really want to make. He got so excited thinking his guy was open that he made it easy for the defensive back to go get the football. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Antonio Callaway, the intended receiver, and it'll bring up third down. Now Haskins. And it falls incomplete after almost being intercepted. A pick there would have been great. The good news for the defense now, it's fourth down. So on fourth down, the Redskins will call on Tressway to punt it away. Back deep, Jakeem Graham. Oh boy, he fielded it right on the goal line. That one in the books as a 64-yard punt. And the Dolphins' drive will start deep in their own territory with a first and 10. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Got a man open. That's Devontae Parker complete. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. Buying time to his left. And he will go down outside of the pocket for a sack. Tried to get away, but could not. Off the edge, the sack by Matt Ioannidis. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. Jackson. And that will be incomplete. 
Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, it's Jackson. He's got a man complete. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. That little arc on it, he's got to find a way to get his head around to make the play in the football. Here's Jackson to throw. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That one goes for 24 yards. From the red zone now, here's Jackson on first down. Dancing to his left. The escapability in evidence there is that one. Good for 15 and a first. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. And this is caught by Parker for a Miami touchdown. Devontae Parker, his third touchdown now on the year. But the Dolphins are able to extend that advantage. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. This is taken at his four. Then it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. The Redskins take over first and 10 at their own 29-yard line. Out there ready for this next drive, the Redskins offense. And it's been a rocky start for them thus far. They had the turnover and then the punt on those first two drives. So there is optimism because they've improved, right? Turnover, you just noted it. Punt's better. Drive. Punt's better than the turnover. The punt is better on the second one. Now they're hoping to turn into first downs and hopefully the points. That throw good for four. It's second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second six. Here's Haskins. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Rashawn Jones. And to the 40-yard line, that's where the return stops. Second interception for him now here in this first half. And you got to think he's a rookie, Charles. How much does confidence start to become a factor? I think that's a great question because that's what they're going to check on when he gets to the sidelines. The coach is going to check on it. His teammates are going to check on it. Because when you haven't done it before, it's not something that's part of you. you got to see how you're going to react. Let's see how he bounces back. Yeah, because two interceptions for him in college and a half. I mean, that just didn't happen. They'll run here with Belage. And he's going to get hit at the line of scrimmage and driven backwards. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Looking to throw on second down. Jackson. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked up by the all-pro corner, Josh Norman. He was looking for Parker that time. Those INTs all sting, but you throw one in the red zone. I think especially as a rookie, maybe it stings a little bit more. I think what you're saying is they don't all count the same, do they? Right? Interceptions in the red zone that you've given up points now, those are precious. So you have to learn from those and in a hurry. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Second and nine now from the 21. Now Haskins to throw on second down. That is caught by the former Gator, Antonio Cataway. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. On first and 10, it's Haskins. And he's got this one complete to Callaway. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 12 yards is the pickup, and it's good for a Washington first down. 13-0 is the score after one on EA Sports. On first down, this is Geis. And credit the tackle to Taco. Taco Charlton with a stop. From the 39, Haskins. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. 
And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. That one good for 37 yards. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They're able to get a couple here, but won't get across the plane as they stop him right around the one. Second and goal from the one. On the ground, Geis. And he's going to be shoved back short of the goal line. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. They run with Geis. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Redskins. Darius Geis, his sixth touchdown of the season. As they are now on the board here in the first half. And his kick is no good. Misses the PAT, a mistake there. And this remains a seven-point game. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. This is taken at his four. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And thus far, the weather has not slowed this offense down one bit. They've looked good so far in the first half. They certainly have. And think back to our meeting with the head coach. And we asked him because we saw the forecast for this game, didn't we? We said, hey, have you prepared for this? And he talked about the different drills that they've done in adverse conditions, the wet ball drills, things of that nature. He said, I don't think it's going to slow us down much. We tend to handle it pretty well. And he's been right. They run it with Balage. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. That didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just started in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. He can run for it, and he will. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. I do know that owners, when they watch their quarterbacks run with the football, they usually hold their breath because that's the franchise. But when you're getting that kind of a game, hard to argue against calling it. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. This time Jackson will throw it. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The DN Jonathan Allen making sure his presence is felt. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. That one good for 13 and a Dolphin first down. A couple of first downs on the drive already. As they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Here's Jackson. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment. But here, he's one that has to absorb the contact. And as a result, unable to hold on to the football. To throw on second and 10. Jackson. Now he's flushed out right. And time finally runs out. He can't get rid of the football, and he's taken down. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they left little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it. That's really, really difficult. You talk about some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. Well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. This is taken at the 15. 
It's a 40-yard punt, six yards on the return. And it'll be Redskins football now with a first and ten. On first down, it's Haskins. That's complete to his receiver, McLaurin. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. It'll go as a pickup of 14 and a Washington first down. Haskins looking to throw on first down. Dumps it off for Geis. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. They'll run with Geis. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Looking to throw, Haskins. And a throw there going to be incomplete. More problems here on third down. They've converted only once so far in this first half. And you know as well as I do in this league, if you don't win on third down, it makes it hard to win a ball game because then you're relying on your defense, you're relying on your special teams. You've got to get it done with your offensive unit. Here comes Grant on the return. Excellent work on the run back there, 33 yards. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 46. Brought in over the middle by Grant. And they'll burn the timeout with five seconds left. A chance to try to add three points before heading to the locker room. No move for the field goal unit. They're going to go here with five seconds left. Throwing is Jackson. And that'll wind up incomplete. Try to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Out there ready for this next drive, the Redskins offense. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors but overall i think they wanted to be positive with them guys we're right there just not playing as well as we need to let's pick it up and we still have a chance to win this game yeah they do we'll see if they can pick it up off the play fake here's haskins flush to his right and he can't find a receiver and he's brought down well, it was second long, now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys. The Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. Now Haskins, third and long. And that is incomplete. So it appears they're going to come up empty on this first drive of the second half, still down by that slim margin. Yeah, and that's okay. You know, when, when you sit and analyze it, they're not happy about what happened having to go to the bench. But this gives them a chance to let their defense do some work while they on the sidelines go over what they're doing offensively and formulate a proper plan. And this. 18 yard line, it looks like. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they looked out of that lead. Now how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Jackson. And he's going to go down. Back at his own five-yard line, it's a sack. Montez Sweat 
What a play by him. That's going to go as a loss of 13. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. And an alley to run. And he's a long ways into Washington territory before hitting the turf. A big hitter there from deep in their own territory. 74 yards. So forget about any talk of possible safeties. Here's first and 10 clear on the other side of the field. Now it's Jackson. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Parker unable to get that one. And that'll bring up second down. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. To throw again, Jackson. And he's going to go down. He's sacked back in the 24. Matt Ioannidis able to record his fifth sack of the season. Here's Jackson on third and long. Oh, incomplete. Nearly the pick they needed. They would have loved one there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. He's got to be kicking himself right there. His team's already picked off two passes. That would have been the third in the game. And boy, they've really played well attacking the football. Well, close game, second half. You obviously hate to leave three out on the field. Especially in a game like this when you know points are hard to come by. That was one of their best opportunities so far. And they come away with nothing. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. They stay on the ground, Geis again, and at the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Defenses always have a goal of holding a runner under 100 yards. Well, he went over 150 last week, won NFC Player of the Week award honors. And guess what? He's got a chance to do it again because of that vision he has. He sees holes that maybe don't exist. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 37-yard line. They will get four yards here on the first down run, and that'll make it second and six. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Again, they run. Again, it's Geis. And he'll get this down close to a first down at about the Dolphins' 29. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Got what he needed for the first down with a gain of two. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. And I think the ball's out, and the Dolphins have got it. And maybe that one caused by the weather. Of course, the rain coming down. Charles, can you maybe, when you're carrying that football, grip it too tight in the rain? I think that you can, and it's such a delicate balance, too, because when you grip it so tight, sometimes it'll slip out from your body. You squeeze it too hard, and it'll pop out on its own. I've actually had running backs talk to me about that, that when they've tried too hard, even in perfect conditions, the ball gets away from them. They've got to find that good balance, carrying it firmly, yet at the same time under control. And he'll get about three just outside the 10, stopped at the 11. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Now a big spot for the rookie Haskins. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. That's going to be a six-yard gain. It leaves him with third down and just a yard to go. They'll try and get it with Geis. 
And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. And they got three yards. That's enough. A conversion, and now it's first and goal. A looming decision to make on the conversion downs. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Darius Geis with his second touchdown of the game, number seven on the year. As they can now even this game here in the fourth quarter with the extra point. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And an important one that is as we are all tied now early in this fourth quarter. Square now at 13 all as he sends this one away. This is taken at his four. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shot at the 23 yard line. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. You ain't doing nothing today. You ain't doing nothing. The drive will commence with a run by Melange. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. The tackle by Matthew Ioannidis. Throwing on second down. Jackson. Forced out to his left. Apart from Kyler Murray, not too many mobile QBs in this year's rookie class, but some good scrambling there to get the first. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. Balage. And it's Reuben Foster in on the tackle. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Devontae Parker, the intended receiver, and that'll make it third down. From the gun, Jackson. He's going to let one go deep for Parker, and that'll be incomplete. Now they took their shot all right, but it comes up empty, and it's fourth down. The defense did their job. Fourth quarter, big stand. No doubt about it because the offense has been yelling at him from the sideline. Just do us a favor. Get us the ball back. Give us one more chance to take it downfield. The defense just did them a solid, it appears. And when they get the ball back, they can kind of play free tie game. They're not behind. Haskins and the Redskins come up first and 10 at their own 26. Flushed out right. And this is incomplete. Got out of the pocket. Didn't look like he had anybody open, Charles, so just gets rid of it. And a good play by him. If no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take, make the right choice. Get rid of it. Live to fight another down. Oh, an absolutely filthy juke. He's got some space now. And they worked this well upfield across the 45. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and 10. Haskins gets this to Reed. And now look at this, big gain, but a fumble. But this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. I don't know about you, but I could hear and feel the sigh of relief all the way up here in our booth. That was palpable. The sideline, the friend there. No doubt about it. Ball goes over the sideline, able to retain possession, no turnover. <laughs> I know his coaches are screaming, just hang on to the ball, man. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. From the 24, Haskins. He's got it complete to Thompson. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. The Washington passing game dialed in now. It's a first down. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. Geis, they'll try to run it. And he'll get about four there as he takes it from the 10 down to the 6. 
Now, what's the thinking here? Because a touchdown would be nice, but you've ensured yourself a chance at three in the lead. So how worried are you about the six? You're not very worried. Hammering for the goal line. He loses the football. And this is picked up by the... And I do believe this is going to line up a safety. It is. It's a safety. How about that for a wacky play? Well, I don't know if careless is the right word there, but bottom line, here in the fourth quarter, tie game, you can't do that. You sure can, Brandon. And not only do you give up the lead, now you've got to turn around and punt it away from your own 20 as well. So it's really a double whammy with time starting to become a factor. Haskins and the Redskins come up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. The intended target was the rookie, Terry McLaurin, and now it's second down. Again on second and 10, it's Haskins. Inside of two minutes remaining in a two-point ball game. So it's Redskin football here as we welcome you back. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. Third down. Here's Geis. And he'll be stopped at the 27-yard line well short of the first down marker. And whistles and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. A good kick, 48 yards, four on the return. And it'll be Dolphin football. Throwing now is Jackson. This one into the hands of the running back, Melange. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. It's a gain of 34. Here's Jackson. And an alley to run. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. He's back to throw. They'll tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. Give him 12 yards there, and the Dolphins have a first down. Back to throw. At this stage, you've got to hustle. You've got to get back to the line of scrimmage because you're saving that timeout to make sure you have a chance to get your kicker out there for the big shot. Now the line. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that'll bring up a third down. Now Jackson. And he's got it. It's caught for a touchdown. And they have taken the lead here in the final seconds. So for those of little faith, guess what? It got done. They now have the lead with that touchdown this late in the contest. I wonder if that was a play they were holding or a play that they just knew would work from past experience. Well, I just saw it in their eyes on the sideline before starting that last drive, and they did. You're right. They got it done. Looks like they're going to be the winners. Out there, ready for this next drive, the Redskins offense. Critical condition here, obviously. Got to hope to get something quick right and then maybe take that shot deep. And once they do take the big shot, you've got to worry on defense. Of course, no one getting behind the defense and make it an easy throw. But nowadays, it's not just the ball being tipped in the air and people in the end zone in the cluster. It's that guy that's short in the end zone who comes up and ends up making the play because he goes unguarded. So there's a lot to think about if you're playing defense in this situation. We'll see if they can cover all their bases. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. So for the Dolphins, they improved to 5-0 now on the young season. And they'll hit the road next week to take on the Buffalo Bills. Meanwhile, for Washington, the loss here will move them back to 500 at 3-3. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home 
next week. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports.